Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar Ultra. In the last episode, we took on the Revenge of the King, all of it, all at once, which I probably shouldn't have done, but that's, that's how it's gonna go, so just deal with it. But in this episode, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than sub-games of episodes past. We are going to be taking on Meta Nightmare Ultra, which is a different mode from pretty much the entire rest of the game, in which it is a speed run. So I'm going to be trying to go through this as fast as possible. And so what's going to be different about this episode is in the top right corner above the bottom screen, usually there's just like a little logo with Kirby in it. But uh, I'm, I'm actually going to be putting something from a W Split, which is the program that I use for a stopwatch. It also allows you to do splits for speed runs. So I'm going to be putting that up in the top right corner so you can see all of my best times. I pulled that from my game cartridge. I probably will not beat it, especially since those times are based off of the in-game times and there will be some real-time stuff that the game doesn't count that I'll have to deal with anyways, but I figured it'll be kind of cool to have that there and to be able to have that for reference because I haven't really used that feature of it before, so we'll see how this goes. So without further ado, I'm going to press the A button and we're going to get into Meta Nightmare Ultra. Alright, so it's going to give give us a little bit of a tutorial here. Uh, don't worry, I will go and explain all of this. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go over to W Split right now, press go, and try to get back to the emulator as fast as possible. And go! So Meta Knight actually controls uh, quite differently than Kirby does. Uh, he is basically, his uh, jumping controls are kind of like the wing ability, so you have basically infinitely many jumps, and they're all pretty fast, so he is better at kind of flying around than uh, Kirby is. Most of his attacks are from the uh, sword ability, although he does have some attacks which are different, like he can uh, do like an up tilt in a way. That's the best way I can describe it is using like Smash Brothers terms. I'll try to use it at some point here. See, there you go. I just use it right there. Um, and there are a few other key differences, like I think I think, uh, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but I'm sure that I'll probably use them all eventually. But other than the fact that he's basically stuck with sword and wing for his ability, uh, he does have a few things on the bottom screen that you'll be able to see there, which he can use to his advantage, which are probably going to be really tough for me to try to use. Um, just for the sheer fact that uh, I can't really touch the touch screen right now because I'm playing, so I don't really know how well this is going to go over. Uh, I can try to like use the mouse and stuff, it's going to be really awkward, not going to lie. Um, but what they what they do is, you can see they all have a price on them, and whenever I defeat enemies I uh, earn a certain number of points, and it allows me to... Oops, this is going to be bad. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh boy. No! Not again! Well, I guess I can show you what happens when you die. You lose all of your uh, points that you had built up. But of course, you can see uh, you uh, pay for different things. There's Meta Quick, which makes Meta Knight go faster, like he has better running speed and faster jumping speed, which is one of the ones that I use more often. Uh, there is heal, which of course uh, is a full heal for you. That is also really useful. There is the mock tornado, uh, which costs 30 points, so it is really expensive. And so, unless you're like really building up stuff, it's going to be a uh, tough one to build up. But I mean, that that's one of the things that I really like about this mode is that you can really strategize with uh, your point spending. Like, what you spend, how you, what you spend it on. Well, I mean, sometimes it's uh, really nice just to just be able to get yourself back up to full health. Sometimes uh, it's good to <laughs> defeat bosses really quickly, because that's basically the best use of Mock Tornado, because it does a ton of damage. Uh... Oops. I'm low on health again. 
and I need to get over to heal. There we go. This is requiring much more dexterity than I thought I would ever need. <laughs> My time is absolutely terrible, but that, that's okay. Um, but going back to the Mock Tornado, it is basically a one-hit kill for all normal enemies on the screen, and for most bosses, it will kill... I think the majority of the mini-bosses, and for most of the major bosses, it will practically drain their most of their health. Unfortunately, I am one short of doing it right now. Hey look, now I can do it. So I will show it off right here. Of course, uh, it actually pauses your in-game timer, but of course my real-time timer is not going to get paused by it at all. And there you go, that's, that's the boss. Just done. So let's see, the bosses give you... 10 points each. I think most enemies give you about 2 or 3. It depends on the enemy, because some enemies are harder than others. So, that's something important to note. Are we going to be careful with DDD and take him out very systematically? Alright, so that's a split. <laughs> 1 minute and 35 seconds. Oh, that's terrible. So what I think that what this is gonna eventually going to end up being is just me commentating over how bad my speedrunning is. Uh, I don't want to save. I should probably like jump over those in the near future. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be skipping all the cutscenes. Sorry guys, because uh, I really need to make up as much time as I can for what I'm losing uh, by <laughs> recording the real time and trying to go off of that. I mean, the, sure, the the game is still counting it, but I want to try to work with XSplit for once, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah. I guess uh, the other thing that I forgot to point out at the very beginning is that uh, Meta Nightmare Ultra is a speedrun of five of the sub-games. So it's uh, the Spring Breeze, Dino Blade, Great Cave Offensive, Meta Knight, or Revenge of Meta Knight, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Milky Way Wishes. So of course one of the things that you can do uh, is, since you're going for pure speed, all the exploration that we did before is basically removed. So all I have to do is just get through the levels as fast as possible. So I'm not trying to take any detours or anything like that. And I'm at 50. I should really consider using something, but I can't. Ugh. It's so awkward. Should have planned ahead better, but oh well. But let's see, how are we doing on Dino Blade? I think we're on the second stage. Of course, my time's gonna be really bad compared to my split, just because. Well, I've already, I've already explained. This, you know. Eh? Really? I was, uh, I was like, I need to heal, but then I died. And now I don't need to heal anymore, guys. Oh man, this is this is <laughs> this is just terrible. Like this is not going to be my best run of this. I am absolutely certain. Like one of the one of these days, if I do like a speed run of this, I should go back, do Meta Nightmare Ultra again, try to do the the timing and the splits on it, but be a little bit more prepared. Like maybe uh, write a script for like Love Pie where I could uh, move the mouse around and click it with the controller. That I probably should have done that before this, but I should I should stop complaining about that, because there's nothing that I'm going to be able to do now that's going to change it. So, let's try to make the most of our quick speed. Don't go in that door, it's a trap. It's a trap. Who could have imagined that? It's not like anyone said that line before, right? That's totally original. I'm going to say. Oh, great. Glad I used that meta quick right when I get an auto-scrolling section. This just, this just kills speedruns right here. Game developers, why do you insist on using auto-scrolling? It's just dumb most of the time. Whee! I guess you can just try to kill as many enemies. I mean, there aren't really too many enemies around here, but there are some. Alright, give me the star! <laughs> right, right as soon as the scroll's on screen. Gotta get those best optimizations. Alright. Uh, I want to try to click. 
but it's just, it's too awkward to deal with. I'm gonna need to heal again, jeez. Go as fast as you can, then I... Ow. This is just going somewhere, but then again, it's a let's play. You can't expect me to play well. I'm not expecting me to play well. Alright, we're almost at the end of the stage. Yeah, speaking of the end of that stage, we were just right there. Alright, this is the last stage. Curse you really bad. Uh, I don't know. Hit stun. Yeah, that's the word for it. That just, like, kills all of my momentum. If I get hit like that, and it actually does major hit stun to me. That, that stuff wasn't too bad, but just certain enemies, they hit you, and you're like, Oh god, why? What is my life? Okay, we just fly here. One of the things that I think I've, like, never talked about in the LP at all is how much I really like the music in this game. I really don't know why it slipped my mind so much, uh, but apparently it has. But I really like the music in this game. And here's the thing. I know that the uh, the DS cartridges are kind of small, um, so they really don't have as much... Uh, wow, that was kind of weird how that worked out, but... Uh, they don't have as much space for sound. And I, I don't really remember how great the sound card is. Um, I know it's not the best. Um, but what most games end up having to do from their original soundtracks is they're composed is they have to compress the sound and do different things to make it fit the sound for the uh, DS. But I think the, the Kirby games are something that do it really, really well in terms of getting the sound to fit. Like, it really just, it fits really well with all, like, the beeps and the boops and the chip tunes. So, it's a really great thing that it has going for it. So, music's catchy. Oh boy. Yeah, take it. Man. Every, every time, like, I'm thinking, I want to hit a button, but I can't. So, it, it's tough, the life of, uh, life of a Let's Player that can prepare properly, which is probably half of them, at the very least. Alright, let's just, <laughs> let's just make our way as quickly as possible. I think we want to go up, up here. Up, up and away! Ow. Ow. Alright, I think this door will take us further. Yes? Why don't I remember this? This is bad. Did I just go further down or... I don't even know anymore. What is level design? Baby, don't hurt me no more. I need to hit this. Okay, now I remember. We uh, don't need that cannon! You are a jerk, sir. Okay, now I remember where I am. Just had a bit of memory loss there. How terrible it is. Uh, my wing flaps will break those blocks. It's terrible. Just like my speedrunning skills. While I'm talking about it, which is kind of understandable. Ow. Stop hitting me! That's totally not your purpose, is to hit me and make me suffer. Alright. Yeah, see, I, I find that using Mock Tornado is really not worth it on these new bosses. Like, I like to save for uh, bigger bosses. Like, Dino Blade coming up, for example, I will definitely use my <laughs> giant store of 50 points here. It would be nice if they would let you uh, accumulate more points at once. Uh, but I can understand why they capped it at 50, because they wouldn't want you saving up, like, 120 points, and then just tornado, tornado, tornado. You know, at least at least it prevents you from spamming it to a certain degree. Alright, let's just make our way up to Diamond Blade. Oh, right, I forgot that they threw this uh, fight with Iron Man in here. Dash attacks, yeah. Ow. I should not have gotten hit by that. Alright. Run as fast as you can. We 
because I'm the gingerbread Mennonite. Yeah. I'm gonna take out Dinoblade, and when I say take out Dinoblade, I really mean take out Dinoblade, because I am now almost four minutes behind. Eh. Click. Thank you. And tornado power. See how much that? Yeah. See that took out a good like 80% of his health, if not slightly more. All right. Uh, split. Oh, that was bad. Sorry about that. That probably totally freaked out the video, but oh well. Skip cutscene. <laughs> Let's go! One of the nice things about uh, the Great Cave Offensive speedrun is that uh, if you remember some of the areas, uh, like this one we actually have to go through. Like, uh, progressing through the area is required to get to the end. But uh, some of the later areas, I think it's like the old tower area, which is the third one, you can just literally go straight for the door that leads forward, which is nice. And one of the reasons why I think this uh, is one of one of the shorter ones for this particular speed run. So that's <laughs> really handy. We have to swim. And a knight's not the best swimmer. Well, he's a, he's about as good as Kirby because that is what he kind of is. He is a Kirby. Maybe he's just Kirby in the future. How's that for <laughs> head cannons? I think we need to go in here. Yep. Eh, no. Get off. Thank you. <laughs> Let's say you need to. You need to just fall into that pit. It is uh, waiting for you. In fact, it's been waiting for 14 years. No joke. 14. Yeah, if I ever pause randomly, it's probably me trying to migrate to the touchscreen with my hands and concentration. So yeah. Let's see, we're almost done with the first area here. So of course we're gonna have a boss though, but we're gonna have to deal with Fatty Whale. But luckily I have enough for a tornado. I'm gonna just use that right now. Now you can see kind of how my strategy goes for this. And I'm already behind my split. Lovely! It's gonna turn out to be fantastically long. Alright, uh, let's just take out the remainder of his health. I guess the one thing, like the power up upgrade or whatever, that I uh, failed to explain was Night Call, which calls in a Night Helper for you. Which is. Basically useless. Uh, I never use it because it always falls behind and really is not that great because Mennonite is not like the most damage dealing character, but he can actually do pretty well for himself, especially if you have uh, Mach Tornado for bosses. So I just generally avoid it. I mean, it's only two, so I guess there's. Mennonite! Uh, I guess there's no disadvantage to using it really, because all it is is you have to kill one enemy to do it. Um, but still, I just... why bother? I mean, it would definitely uh, take time for me to do it here. One of the nice things about playing this on an actual DS is that you can just reach your fingers down and tap the touchscreen for whatever button you want. They're pretty accessible, so... It's uh, pretty nice. And here we're gonna have... the computer virus. Luckily, we get the easy version. Oh, he gets the first attack. That was so dangerous. Oh, 62, you kidding me? Oh my god. He was surprised by me not killing him. That's what he was surprised by. I guarantee. Alright, 34. Yeah, I can do more with the, uh, the up attack. Yeah, that definitely does a lot more damage. That's the better option. For sure. Uh, Mock Tornado. Yeah, so whenever you hit, like, Mock Tornado, that's the frame that it'll activate. So everything in the game is paused right now until it actually takes effect. And there we go! Yeah, we just took, took that boss out. And now we get, <laughs> we get stats for Meta Knight, not Kirby. I think it's funny how they, uh, change what stats you get. Like, you get charisma now, and coolness, instead of, like, puffiness and mask shine. 
That's a really, really neat touch that they give. So these, uh, these minecart areas, I should, I should say that uh, it's almost exclusively better to go through with meta quick and just dash attack. Because usually what happens is I think it's, it's faster than the minecarts for one. Um, but what it also allows you to do. Uh, is it allows you to kill enemies which will uh, give you a whole bunch of points as well. So it allows you to spend some points to use the meta quick, but you see I got basically all of them back right there. So that's uh, a really nifty thing. So now we have our last area here. Oh, this is bad! Ninjas! Why do you have to be so good at being ninjas? They're kind of be bad ninjas if they weren't, right? I'm telling you, eloquent, eloquent. Ah, no, no! This is not the time to be having problems with this. No, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> All right, we're gonna have one final boss here. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't have nearly enough points to be able to do this. I'm gonna have to do this boss legitimately. It's just, it's terrible. I know. How far behind am I? I'm, I'm behind by like five minutes. It's slowly but surely adding up. Oops. I could just spam that attack to avoid the rocks. Ah! No! Stop it! I do not appreciate your tone, sir. Even though you're technically a hand. Ah, one minute, I need to pause and heal. That's one of the great things about Meta Nightmare, though, is that you can always kill yourself whenever you need to. And we're gonna get a one last heal for this uh, last minecart section. Then we'll be out of, out of this cave for good. Actually, oh, uh, you have to use the elevator, it's stuck here. And now you get to see <laughs> versions of me flashing down below the elevator like the speed echoes from the speed booster in uh, some of the Metroid games that have it. But we'll just get to our warp star, and that's going to be... One minute, I need to get out of there, split. 